Hello, my name is Julie Glanville. I'm Associate Director at York Health Economics Consortium, where I manage our work stream on systematic reviews and information retrieval projects. My background is in information retrieval and systematic reviewing. Today's webinar will be about text mining and we'll look at text mining from the perspective of finding evidence for systematic reviews. You can find out more about our webinars at yhec.co.uk. So let's have a look at text mining. In this session, I'm going to look at building search strategies using selected text analysis tools. This is an introductory webinar and I'm going to demonstrate two particular tools that are available and that could be used to help you build your search strategies. Text analysis software is software that counts the frequency of words in text, in particular, in this case, database records. In this slide, you can see the types of text analysis tools that are available. This is an overview and just a selection of the many different types of text analysis tools which we might use when building search strategies. They all do different things. In this slideshow, I'm going to talk about very simple text analysis tools that work with PubMed. We're going to look at Pub Reminer and Go PubMed. Let's think about what free word frequency analysis software can do for us. In the field of healthcare, there are many tools available, but most have been developed as interfaces to Medline, and in particular as interfaces to the PubMed version of Medline. Word frequency analysis interfaces let us carry out searches and then ana analyze the results of the searches for us so that we can see the most frequently occurring words in individual records and batches of records. The value of this software is that it allows us to quickly identify words which might be relevant to the particular topics that we're searching for and give us a list of terms very quickly that we can then discuss with our team to decide on suitable terms to build into our search strategy. Let's look first at PubMed PubReminer. This is, as I've said, an interface to PubMed. You can type in a very simple search and the software will analyze the results and show you the most frequently occurring terms. A simple search that we can try out is hypnotherapy and smoking cessation. If we type this search into PubMed PubReminer, the results are presented back to us as a table, which shows us for each of the fields in the record, the number of words that are, um, are found. We can look at this frequency analysis and decide which of these terms might be useful to incorporate and test in a search strategy. Another package that does a very similar operation is GoPubMed. In this interface, we can search again for hypnotherapy and smoking cessation. And once the results are returned, if we click on statistics at the top of the screen, we can see the results of uh, the frequency analysis of some of the fields in the records. The difference from PubMed PubReminer is that there is no analysis of the title and abstract words. This uh, is obviously a limitation in terms of developing a search for keywords in the title and abstract. So to summarize, I've shown you two interfaces to PubMed, PubMed PubReminer and GoPubMed. They both offer the ability to analyze words within PubMed records and provide lists of terms that you might consider to use in your search strategy. This is obviously very useful for PubMed in particular. In healthcare, there aren't many similar interfaces for other healthcare databases. However, we can use EndNote bibliographic software to carry out simple frequency analysis in much the same way as PubReminer and GoPubMed. So in our next webinar, we'll look at how we can use EndNote to analyze records from other databases such as PsycInfo, Embase and Synal.